What's good YouTube? So today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the GH5 and with that I'm also going to show you guys footage from the GH5 shot at 4K and 60 frames per second. So coming from the Sony A7S to the GH5 I think the biggest thing that I'm going to have to get used to will be the menu. And that's something I can get used to over time so it's not that big of a problem. Another thing about the camera that I did not like will be the connection with the Metabone Speed Boosters. With the Sigma 18 or 35 millimeter and the Metabone Speed Booster it does not connect properly to the GH5. To get the camera to function properly before you even turn on the camera you have to hold the button on the side of the Metabone Speed Booster. Once you're holding the button, basically you can turn the camera on. But make sure the, the lens is at 18 millimeters, otherwise it won't work. So basically, once you turn the camera on and you're holding the button on the side of the Metabone Speed Booster, I can't show you because I'm actually recording with the GH5. But yeah, you hold the button in on the side and then once the camera turns on, you can let it go and then press it one more time so that all of the functions work with the camera and the lens together. But everything else about the camera I love, from the in-body stabilization to the 4K 60 frames per second, and all the clips you guys are seeing is basically shot in the Cine D-Lite photo style. I didn't get vlog yet, so I purchased it a couple days ago, so it should be on its way in about a week or so, and then I'll put out a video testing that out like next week. So. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you then.